Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Virgo. But I also just recently uploaded both your ancestral tarot reading as well as your spirit guide tarot reading, which I'll leave links to both of them. My beautiful Virgo over here for you to check out at a later point. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it, Virgo. And also, Virgo, I, um, if you do find some cards that resonate, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, Virgo, because that's how I keep up with y'all and the co is through you letting me know in the comments below Below, which cards resonate and how they do um and also uh be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find some cards that do resonate with you my beautiful Virgo just because it does help out my tarot channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys go out of the way to go out of your way to take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel uh, and then finally, Virgo, before we get into this reading, I just want to remind you that I don't feel like any tarot reading Virgo should be making a decision in your life because I feel like um, it's your life to live, not mine, right? I feel like tarot cards, tarot readers are here to present to you a point of view for you to consider, a uh, some food for thought for you to think about, right? But never making a decision in your life because it's not my life to live, it's not these tarot cards' lives to live, and it's not any other tarot reader's life to live, right? The, the, it's your life, Virgo. So, with all that being said, Virgo, let's just get into your general tarot weekly reading this week. We'll start out with your oracle moon card, Virgo, which is the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. So, definitely, very much so, just like the action card, action, or action card, uh, the judgment card with the chariot card, I feel. Because, and I say it with the chariot card just because, again, like the chariot only will step forward when you're on your right path. Right, Virgo? And so I get with this where it's just like, if you're being told to be bold and make the first move, Virgo, you have to read in between the lines when it comes to tarot, right? And if you're being told by spirit to make the move on something to kind of just to be bold and make that first move, right, Virgo? Virgo? Um, then it's kind of already letting you know that you're making the right decision, right? Because if you were not making the right, if you weren't going down the right path or in the right direction, Virgo, you wouldn't be told to be bold and make the first move. You'd be told to uh, go back to the drawing board a little bit, right? There would be there would be other cards that would be telling you not to be moving forward. You'd be talking about self-reflecting or all of that, right? So you already can take comfort in the fact, Virgo, for whatever it is that you're considering doing this week to you're kind of getting like the green light um, from spirit and going forward with that and being like, hey, yeah, this is a good, this is essentially a card from spirit, Virgo, where it's just like, your spirit's being like, we like what it is that you're wanting to do or what it, what it is that you're considering, go ahead and take action on it, right? This is also kind of like that push forward, maybe for some of you Virgos that have been um, waiting for a sign of some sort as well, or maybe you're waiting for like things to line up more before you make a decision onto something. Don't mind me, I'm like trying to, um, Virgo, adjust my table because it's like it's shaky right now <laughs> but it's not successful so what have you so virgo uh let's continue on with your reading it's gonna bother me honey if <laughs> i know you guys can't even see it but all right i think i just did the best that i can all right so we have the four of swords starting out your energy virgo uh this is a card of self-reflection and meditating and healing and I know, um, right, when I was explaining this, where it's just like you'd be getting cards where I go, if you aren't on your right path to think about it more, go back to the drawing board and then we have the self-reflecting or healing card. But I feel like this is, this is a card of perspective though. Um, I see it as, especially with this King of Cups, this is a card of perspective. And um, it's almost like Virgo, you're making a decision in your life that might, um, piss off some people is something that I'm getting. It might like uh, piss off some people or at the very least, it'll make people like raise a brow because it may be like uh, the choice that you make, you no longer are going to have time for other people as much. You're not gonna be able to offer your services to help others as much. And maybe some people are just not that receptive towards it. Maybe they don't like that and they're just like, eh, right? So, uh, but with this Ace of Swords, this is confirming to me, more so, again, matters of the mind, what it is that you've been considering, Virgo. 
um, and to go forward with it. This lets, this is a card where it's just like the thoughts that you're having, the ideas that you're having, Virgo, they are coming to you for a reason and you should honor that. Grab your sword and honor that, right? And so the King of Cups comes in as well in that sense of where it's just like, honoring your your emotions honoring your thoughts and feelings on a situation and um not really reacting right because that is the theme between the king of cups and the four of swords is like you're not reacting right as the king of cups you're keeping your emotions in check being mature about it um because there's been a lot of thought put into this there's been some deep reflecting on this and it's basically whatever decision you end up making virgo make that decision with full confidence don't make that decision um, with a little bit of uh, unsureness in your uh, in yourself, don't make this some type of decision if you're not truly feeling uh, right about that decision, right? If you feel like you might regret it at a later point, right? You whatever decision it is, you whenever you do decide to make that decision and step forward with it, you want to be making that decision um, in full confidence, essentially. There we go. So we have the Page of Air coming in as well. Now the Sword card. So a lot of Swords cards coming in for you. A lot of Air energy, Virgo, this week. This is a card that says challenging information, delays or changes to plans, uh, truth delivered without tact. Um, so, <laughs> Virgo, let's actually pull some cards on this because this is kind of like a, quite again, quite literally the opposite of what I told you before where it just seems to be like, or what I was telling you before, that you would have cards going back to the drawing board. With this page of air, I do kind of like hone in on like the sense of where you're kind of like speaking your truth, Virgo. But also it's in the pages represents new beginnings, right? So maybe you're approaching, can't help but feel like this is in regards to some type of social dynamic, right? It may be connected, right? It doesn't, I don't feel like it's directly uh, Virgo, like the situation just speaking only on uh, some type of friendship in that way. Maybe it is for some of you, but for the majority, it's almost like through you um, taking action or shifting your thinking about something or your approach in something in some type of way uh, seems to cause some type of social uh, conflict, right? It doesn't mean fighting, right? It could just be like a situation where it's just like um, feeling a little bit more on edge, Virgo, perhaps. So the clarifiers we pulled for this were the Ace of Discs, as well as the Eight of Wands, and then the Nine of Wands. Uh, so Virgo, with this is, again, it's, I associate with this Eight of Wands and this Nine of Wands, you're going on a path, pretty lonesome path, I'm going to be honest, Virgo. It does seem to be where you're, this week seems to be you're stepping into a journey of, um, uh, how I would put this, the Nine of Wands is all about uh, Virgo taking a journey for yourself for to build your own character. It'd be like taking a road trip by yourself, not telling anybody, um, just because you want to experience life more in that sense. And this Eight of Wands comes in as a affirmation of more so, again, more so action, take grabbing up that opportunity. But especially with this Ace of Coins, hmm... Virgo, when it, because this is a clarifier of the Page of Air, or Page of Swords, it's kind of foreshadowing, Virgo, of this sense that it's like some type of opportunities being presented to you that really can change the direction of where it is that you're currently going, right? This would almost be like, you, you know, I use that example of taking a road trip, right? But it would be like, maybe you like won, like, <laughs> as like a random example, it'd be like you winning like, um a cruise like a week long cruise um in some way so it'd be like a sense of where it's just like oh well you have to pack your bags and leave by tomorrow sort of thing it seems to be like you there's something being presented to you virgo where you can really start pivoting your life and pivoting uh these shifts in a way that really just like work for you but I, I can't help but feel like this opportunity and it's just it's weird to me because it's like I from my own personal level Virgo I can't understand why you why someone just doing what's best for them what's like seemingly a really good someone answering a really good opportunity for themselves somehow affects or impacts someone else's life like I don't see I, I'm not making the correlation but I guess it's just because like I'm not living the life right so um, it's just interesting in that dynamic that we have that going on, Virgo. 
So let's start pulling some uh, tarot cards for your rows now, Virgo. Uh, I, get, I like to do a tarot row, tarot reading row for my Virgos that are interested in hearing about their career. I also do a row with tarot for my Virgos that are interested in hearing about their social situations, whether it's rom romantic, platonic, and all that. And then I just do some final thoughts, Virgo, to round out the energy, round out the reading. So let's start out with my Virgos wanting to hear about I'm sorry, I'm like trying to avoid this burp coming up. Uh, let's get some insight on my Virgo's career now and see what's going on with them. The cards that I have, and I'll show them to you in a moment, Virgo, don't worry. The cards that I have currently pulled out for your career, Virgo, is the Devil card, the Hierophant, as well as the Two of Swords. So, such a dynamic of... It's almost like there's some, some presence whether it's the job or something in pertaining to the job, Virgo, that you're not trusting, that you're, you're, you're seeing, you're, you're, um, what is the word for it? You're seeing red flags, I guess, and something going on in your work life, in your financial situation with this two of swords. I do feel like it's one of those things that you already have your hands in, in some type of way, right? Because of the two of swords here, this is, the two of swords is something that you're already actively embracing this individual, this individual coming in the shape of like your, work situation your financial situation right but you're embracing them and then you have this knife here you're holding this knife here so it's because it's like um you're not sure about their intentions you're not sure about there's just some level of distrust going on virgo and then with the devil card i mean you're seeing you're starting to see something and be like oh is this really up to, is this serving to my highest good is there something more going on here that you're feeling distrustful about and that's why you're carrying that knife with you while i see you still actively doing it it's almost like you're doing something virgo that like you're starting to just be like i don't know if i want to do this anymore i don't know if i want to feed energy into this more and you're just like and then with this hierophant this is where it's interesting though this feels hmm it feels like something that you might potentially currently feel stuck in, Virgo, in this situation where you can't escape it, but I can't help but feel like you are being pushed to escape it. Uh, the clarifiers that I pulled for you, Eight of Cups, this is the card of going to bigger and better waters, right? This is a card of, you know, with the Eight of Cups in this deck, it doesn't really show the imagery as beautifully, but usually in the Eight of Cups, you see it's shown in the, in the tarot card of a bunch of cups lined up that are already filled. So it seemingly shows like a good situation, right? Seemingly shows like a settled, uh, promising situation. But, and which is what I was getting with this Two of Swords, where it's just like, you, there's something here that you're just not happy with with those cups. It seems like a good situation, but something in, inside you're just like, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't, your uh, warning signs are going off. Like you're, I can't think of the word right now. Like you're, <laughs> Um, you're, whatever. Well, I can't think of the words. It's like obviously not meant to be. Um, and the clarifiers that we have for your devil card are the chariot and the justice card. So two, a lot of major arcana, three major arcana in this setup. So it already lets me know it speaks of like a big transition. When you see a lot of, uh, major arcana, Virgo, you already can tell like with the energy of whatever it is that it's encompassing, it's pretty impactful. Uh, so with the cherry card, we already talked about that before, right? I already, before, at the beginning, in the justice card, it does seem to be, um, bringing, like, it's very quickly, like, if you don't, hmm, how would I put this, Virgo? If I were to be receiving this reading, I would be seeing this current spread, and I would be like, I would wait it out probably a little bit longer. Your senses are probably going off and you're just like, okay, something doesn't sit right with me right now. You're probably not too sure about it. Um, and I feel like those like more details, something more is going to come into light that gives you more of an affirmation of what to do next uh, in this situation that it's touching on Virgo. Um, so I would say, I mean, what I would do personally is I would wait it out probably a little bit more because I do see like um, justice coming in pretty quick, uh, balancing of stuff coming in relatively quick still. And with the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups, this is where I was like hesitant. So I was just like, this Hierophant card didn't feel like it was associated with these other things. And this is why it's speaking of what's coming, Virgo, because something that is coming to you is promising of a higher commitment, 
right? The Knight of Cups comes in and normally like people would see this as like a person. And even still, like it could be like this person, like the opportunity that comes into your work situation comes in from the, in the shape of a person bringing the opportunity to you, Virgo. But um, with the Hierophant, I was like, this is just usually talking about higher commitment and all that. So I'm just like, okay, how does this correlate with this? And it didn't. Um, it actually correlates in the sense that like there's some a much better opportunity uh, coming your way to present itself to you. So if we're going to break this down further, again, Virgo, I'll just talk about if I were to be reading these cards for myself. Um, I would say you would be having an opportunity starting to show itself before wait until an opportunity presents itself before you start taking action with this eight of cups you normally when it comes like you get the luxury uh virgo and that usually when someone has to have that eight of cups moment they kind of have to go to bigger and better waters without knowing that there are bigger and better waters they just see a bunch of desert right but with this it's kind of showing to me that th these waters are coming to you um, you're going to be getting signs that you're going to be seeing these waters before anybody else. And that's when you can uh, take action, right? So definitely you don't have to like, take, like, you don't have to have a lot of risk here. Just know your intuition is correct is something that I'm constantly hearing. So just take comfort in that, Virgo. Your intuition is correct on something regarding that. So now, Virgo, let's get into your social situation. Now let's see what's up with that. And uh, keep in mind, Virgo, when I speak on social situations, social situations can either encompass your romantic, platonic, you know, business, and you know, it's your social situations, right? Really good cards, though. So we have the Sun card coming out for you. Best card in the deck, that happy ending. Two of Cups, really beautiful card, again. And then the Six of Pentacles. Now, Virgo, before we cl pull clarifiers, just th these messages in themselves paint such a happy ending picture, like that happily ever after with somebody. Obviously, there seems to be more to this story here. So let's pull some clarifiers, see what's going on and why the Spirit's bringing this forward to you in the first place. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I was confirmed. This is confirming to me a little bit from the other uh, the other row as well, Virgo. This moon card. You know where I was saying something's going to be revealed to you. This moon card comes in that sense. And I'm going to, you know how I was saying I looked at that Knight of Cups and it could be like the person coming in with some type of opportunity, Virgo. It does seem to be like a person in this sense just because of that Two of Cups coming in and then this Knight of Pentacles as well. I really can't help but feel like um, and it could be unrelated, but I'm just associating it with the career one just because I can see the correlation. Um, it does seem to be something, someone coming towards you slowly. Uh, with this Knight of Discs coming in, the Knight, the Knight of Discs is the slowest moving Knight, but is the Knight that probably, I would argue, makes the most ground. It's kind of like the rabbit and the hare in that comparison, whereas like the hare is kind of like the Knight of Swords, I would see it as. Where it's like fast movement and then in their head like you know they ends up you know you know how the story ends knight of pentacles it's like that slow stable forward movement but it's going to take a little bit right so it's under that six of pentacles <sighs> hmm i would just i can't help but feel like usually when it comes to my readings Virgo, i'm not usually one that says like i would just like wait things out a little bit longer i'm always about that action and uh, taking matters into our own hands. But with this hanged man and the full moon, or full moon, the moon card, Virgo, I really can't help but feel like, um, thing, like, wait it out. Keep your eyes and ears peeled this week, Virgo. I really feel like things are going to start being presented to you in the coming weeks of that, that will help you make your decisions on things. I don't feel like you have, this is really a time, Virgo, that, I mean, you can, honey. I'm not telling you not to take risks and all that, right? Do what you want to do. Um, but this is one of those very rare times in my readings that um, <clears throat> I'm seeing this in a sense of where it's just like, the like, the, like not the longer you wait but like the, if you're patient at this time and just like wait for things to like pan out more more things are going to come to light in a good way that's going to help you make decisions so if you are feeling indecisive at this time virgo don't feel rushed into making a decision if you don't have to uh, because i feel like your those decisions are going to be coming a lot easier for you with new information coming forward to you relatively soon in the next couple of weeks i'm giving so let's round let's uh wrap up this reading now for you my beautiful virgo see if there's any final thoughts in these cards that we need to address for you for this uh 
coming week for you, Virgo. <clears throat> so, we have the Devil card following you again, the Page of Swords, as well as the Three of Wands. This is, like, I mean, okay, yeah, this is just, like, the same thing, Virgo, in the sense that more, like, Three of Wands is the card where it's, like, you start seeing signs of something coming in you start seeing something in the horizon exactly what i was saying and once you start seeing those things coming into the horizon virgo with that three of wands that's when you can start that new beginning that's when you can start having that transition and getting yourself away from that devil i say i got the devil you had the devil from before but now i'm like going back and wondering if you did get yeah okay you did get the devil from before i'm in my head right now virgo i was like did you actually get the virgo uh, devil card from before virgo but you did yeah i feel like th this those final thought cards really just wrap up what i've been saying to you virgo where it's just like so it's a really positive sign showing to me i'm not telling you the wrong message in that wait it out a little bit more you're going to start seeing things on the horizon so if you're worried about taking action on something virgo um it's okay. Just start. Be keep your eyes peeled. If you're at a place where you're indecisive, just keep your eyes peeled because Spirit's going to bring stuff forward to you. Things are going to start coming to light more, Virgo, that will assist you in making those decisions. So, yeah, Virgo, that's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe. Be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. And then, um, Virgo, I guess I'll just ask you to come back to one of my other videos so I can connect with you sometime in the future. I love you so much, Virgo. Bye.